Okay, so now we're moving on to a piece of news that might actually be terrifying. It's not terrifying in the traditional sense. It's terrifying for our anime nerd sensibilities. So it's okay. not terrifying from like, a, oh god, my life is in danger. Hell no. It's just more terrifying from a, I want to save money and be a mega nerd kind of thing. Because you were just mentioning to me off camera, Tristan, that you actually don't own uh, Fullman Alchemist Brotherhood. And the story we're talking about today is actually Anaplex of America, Anaplex USA, I should say, Anaplex USA, uh, that they're going to release Full Alchemist Brotherhood Blu-ray box sets. Uh, so these are, you know, discs. It's the whole... Sh it, they're not uh, dumping discs just yet, thank goodness, you know, for all of us who still like physical collections out there. So that's a good... That sounds like it's good news because a lot of other companies, or not companies necessarily, but a lot of... Uh, especially in the gaming world, a lot of um, companies there are going digital, and I'm not a big fan of that, but that's, that's a, those guys play topic, that's for something else. Uh, but talking about this in particular, so Anaplex of America is actually going to be bringing over these two sets, right? Now, of course, some of you guys are probably like, wait a minute, Matt, I think this is deja vu. No, but seriously, it's deja vu. I feel like I've heard about this before. Of course, we all know that Funimation originally had the license, Anaplex USA, though, Anaplex of America, pulled that license Yeah. because they legally can. For anyone that's angry about it, they legally can. And I'm pretty sure that's in almost, if not every, I can't speak for every, but it is in a fair amount of license negotiations in regards to, like, when a, a U.S. company is negotiating with a Japanese company over stuff like this, it's in pretty much every contract. I can't speak for every contract, but there's no reason why, you know, if tomorrow Funimation didn't want to start dubbing over Dragon Ball Z with every character doing fart noises, if Toei couldn't remove it. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, if Funimation just had every single character just, be, just, just doing fart noises. Yeah. Every line. Every line was fart noises. I'm sure Toei has something in their contract that allows them to go, we're not letting you do this. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It wouldn't be Funimation like, you have to wait six years. <laughs> no. Like, every single episode on Toonami would just be fart noises. Like, oh, no. No. That, but it's so ridiculous. But, of course, that's why, like... In any case that a Japanese company either feels like they just want to take it back or they feel slighted, Right. They would. It's such a nonsensical thing to have happen, but of course the idea is if something like that happened and Funimation went off the deep end yeah. and just did something like that, you would not have it be a situation where Toei's like, I guess we can't do anything about it. Sure, we own it, but I guess we yeah. can't do anything about it because the U.S. company wants to do this and that. No, they can pull it back at any time they want to. I'm pretty sure I heard that Toei are the ones that pulled it back from Four Kids. Be uh, pulled it, pulled One Piece back from Four Kids. Oh. due to what they were doing i'm pretty sure that's what happened i'm pretty sure it wasn't four kids just or it might have actually been four kids due to them uh filing for bankruptcy the show is uh, that's another clause too if you file for bankruptcy usually the show will go back to its original license holder right you could potentially renegotiate but still it, it goes back to that original license holder now the point though is is that uh when it comes to this show from like miss brotherhood Anaplex of America just took it back. And I think legally they also own the rights to the dub as well. Right. If they don't, although I'm pretty sure they, they do, if they don't, well then these sets would be without a dub, which I'm sure so many FMA fans love. Yeah. They love not being able to hear the dub. It's it's uh. it's one of the yeah, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I would I would imagine it. Yeah. But I don't know, though. We don't know yet. We just know that they are coming out. We don't even have a... Do we even have a date of when... Okay, we do have a date. The uh, the box sets are coming out November yeah. 20th, 2018. That's the... Uh, the f Actually, yeah, the f all both of them, actually. Oh, shit. Okay, so you can get both uh, box sets November 20, 2018. If you can uh, get them right now, like you can pre-order them. If you guys want to pre-order them, they will be in the uh, description box below. We'll have affiliate links. That helps support the channel, but in no way you have to go to it. You can just go to any other link if you want to. We'll also, if they're still available on Amazon, we'll have the affiliate links for the original Blu-rays from Funimation. Because uh, those are the ones that I got the second that I heard. Uh, Satish Ram and I, actually, uh, we literally uh, split them. We just put money towards both because we were like, we don't know when these were coming back out. And this was literally two years ago. Because, right. yeah, it took two years for these to come back out. I'm sure Anaplex of America was like, let's wait until all those other sets, you know, kind of get sold. So that they're yeah. not flooding the market with their new sets. Um, either way... 
The reason, why do you think I'm terrified, Tristan? I think we've had this conversation off uh, podcast, but why do you think I'm terrified? Uh, general terror at the world around us? No, terif- uh, terrified, again, at the, at the nerd stuff in regards oh. to this being re-released. Why do you think this terrifies me? I feel like I had this conversation with him a long time ago. I mean, you had the you brought up the point that you weren't sure if the dub would be included, but you were pretty sure it would be. But no, no, yeah, that was that's something I brought up now. But I don't think we talked about that ever. So, but to be fair, that is a a good concern. The problem is, how much money are they going to make these sets? Right. Now they do. They're not making them. They're not splitting them up, which is good. Uh, I mean, you can look them up on Amazon if you want to. The My, first set is 1 to 30, and the second set is 31 to 64. So roughly 30 episodes in two, two box sets. Yes, but here's the problem. Do uh, you know what happened with the Kill the Kill sets? Uh, no, I do not. Would you like to buy Kill the Kill, Tristan? You can buy them right now. I, actually, I don't, even, uh, think they're in, I don't um, even think they're in print, but let's say oh, they were still in uh, print. Let's say they were. For a whopping 599 U.S. dollars. Yes. Well, no, less than that. But it's actually every five episodes. Guess how much five episodes cost on one DVD? I swear to God, Tristan. 20 to 30. 50 USD. That is not a... That isn't a out-of-print price. That was the official price. No, thank you. No, thank you. That's why I don't own Kill the Kill. And that's frustrating because I like oh, that show. I don't own Kill Like Kill. But I like that show, um, Tristan. But I'm not willing to spend two hundred and fifty dollars. There's twenty five episodes. No, no. So the question is, how much are they going to make this set? It's thirty episodes. You think, oh, that's good. That's not five each. Right. But I mean, I'm, I'm going to look it up right now. Actually, I'm going to look it up see if it's on Amazon, uh, or maybe write stuff. But my problem is, it's just the fact that. Uh, when it comes to like Funimation sets, where right. like I think thirty, maybe fifty each. Right. Thirty to fifty each for thirty episodes on Blu-ray is not bad. Oh yeah. I'm just no, worried. Yeah, no, I'm just worried that they're gonna go a 100. little bit. Yeah, a hundred. Yeah. And make the and 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 make them seem like they're special editions, but not give anything with it. Because if they were, if they did something crazy, like it's a hundred bucks. For that thirty episodes, but you're getting a full Metal Alchemist locket watch, right? Like, like Ed's, I wouldn't yeah. want to buy it again, but I'd understand why. I'd be like, no, why, Tristan, you should yeah, probably get it. More of it. I'd tell I you, think, be like, Tristan, you probably sh- if it was a hundred with that, I'd say you should. But if it's a hundred by itself for thirty right. episodes, if you could find the Funimation ones cheaper, I'd tell you to go for those. Oh yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. Uh, apparently, each set will also include two original video anime OVA episodes. It does not specify Here's the problem. what those are. But... Here's the problem. I can bet you money. Well, first of all, one of the OVAs might be the one that was included in... Because here's the thing. There were OVAs that Funimation had released before that license was pulled from them. Right. That was a $10 DVD that still might be a $10 DVD. Granted, it's not it wasn't on a Blu-ray if that's the ones right. that I, if they're the ones that I'm thinking of. So to be fair, if they are upscaled and they are Blu-ray quality, that's good. But if they're an SD file on a Blu-ray, again, if it somehow manages to be cheaper, I just tell you to go for the DVD. Right. Um so that's my issue is that I don't know how much these are going to cost. Um still looking it up right now, but uh for all we know, it's going to be Okay. Huh. No, this is the old one. The old Blu-ray, Complete Collection 1, which I think was actually less than 30 episodes, but even if it was, it's on Amazon right now for $178. <laughs> but guess, Tristan, Tristan, free Prime shipping. So you know what? Oh you know what? You're getting... Oh you're my getting, god. Uh, so apparently they don't have Full Alchemist listed. Um, yeah, they clearly don't have it listed here yet. Like the November sets. Either right. way, if you can still get them on eBay, Tristan, I would tell mm-hmm. you to, you know, I'm, we're not going to search them up right now, but still, I would tell you to get them there. Because, uh, again, we don't know how much these are going to cost. They could cost, with the OVAs, they could go, that's premium, and then give it to you for 100 bucks. And it's like, right. mm, is F- like, FMA is worth money. It really oh, is. Yeah. Yes. But is it worth 200 bucks, especially when, you, you know, assuming each set is 100 each? Especially when we already know, like you don't have it, but a bunch of other people, like I feel like the problem with FMA too, trying to pull it to get money from the license or get more money, 
who I, I know it sounds silly because you don't have it, but who doesn't have FMA already? Or who can't watch it on Crunchyroll if they're itching to watch it? Yeah. That's the thing. Like, I feel like with FMA, it's kind of like, but guys, like talking to Anaplex of America here, or Anaplex USA, whatever you want to refer to them as, it's like, guys, people bought FMA like crazy when Funimation released it, and at this point, it's nearly been 10 years since Brotherhood came out. I don't want to, I don't want to age us because I feel like I just became like, I turned to dust just by saying that. <laughs> but it's been 10 years. Uh, we were in high okay, school. Matt, I'll see you on the other side of the gate. <laughs> yeah, right? We were in high school Yeah. when, when Brotherhood came out. It's been a while. And I've been a suit of armor ever since and you You've still been... haven't gotten my goddamn body back yet, Matt. <laughs> Yes, yes. It looks like he has a body, but really it's just a husk. I don't. Anyway. Yeah. Um, it's just the CG. It's really good. It's really good. If you're wondering where, all, looking at what our sets, looking at our cameras, looking at our lighting, Matt, where does the fucking money go? It's just, it all goes right into Tristan's CG. It's to make me That's look all human. It is. It's to make him look human. Tristan, become human. It's, oh. I, um, I know nothing of that game. Anyway, all I'm saying here, Tristan is that uh, I, I, I'm terrified due to the potential pricing. We don't know what it is yet, but I'm worried. And I think a lot of other anime fans are worried. Granted, even if it's 100 compared to trying to get it on Amazon only for 188 100 seems like a breath of fresh air, but also it's not a breath of fresh air compared to what Funimation had it at. And that's the thing, and that's what I sometimes worry about. Like, I'm not just trying to put down Anaplex here at all. Right. It's just that there's a reason why... Japanese companies have U.S. licensors release stuff in the U.S. It isn't that the Japanese companies are inept. That's not what it is. It's just that there's a difference in market. Yes, American fans will buy a lot of shiny stuff if it's in a special edition. I'm not, I'm not going to deny yeah. it, especially gaming fans, right? We, I mean, look, I'm someone who is a gamer, right? I'm someone who plays games over at our Those Guys Play channel along with Tristan Walter. Tristan, you know that there's a lot of cool stuff that comes out uh, throughout, that's come out for the past, you know, like that we've at least seen uh, that we've talked about either off a podcast or on a podcast or whatever it is on a video, off a video, that we'll see a special edition. We'll go, ooh, that's shiny. And oh, how much is that? Oh, that's not actually that expensive compared to what you're getting. And it's like, no, no, guys, guys, don't, don't do it, don't do it. Right. Snaps your fingers, don't do it. I'm like, but you know, but I mean, compared to what it could cost if you didn't get in special edition, getting a special edition is actually is actually reasonable. It's a deal. I'm getting a deal. You right. know. I can't help it. It's so beautiful. It's, I'm not saying that doesn't happen. I'm just trying to say that. Uh, well, it does happen. Uh, there's still. When, especially when it comes to anime fans, a lot of anime fans do not have disposable income. A lot of them, even now, mm -hmm. are still teens. They skew towards being very young, being uh, fans that are watching stuff on Crunchyroll on the free side. Mm -hmm. That aren't paying to get the ads removed. They're just paying, and they're like, whatever, I have ads, I guess. You know? Um, that's I mean, just I what's have going a on. One, but... Yeah, thankfully you do, yes. but I was that for a while. And I am that right now. And that's fine. I'm not even that young, sadly. Right. But I'm old. I'm <laughs> old. Not even that young, I'm man. old. Right? But still, the point, though, is is that, you know, when we were in high school, we were watching it. Um, we were watching it with a, you know, without a subscription. Or we were trying to find clips on YouTube before we understood what copyright was. We were like, oh, could we watch this on YouTube? And it was like, oh, it got taken down. And it's like, it did. Because that's not how it's supposed to work. Unless it was like legal companies like Funimation releasing their stuff on YouTube. Um, but anyway, what I'm trying to get at here though, Tristan, is that uh, it's you have these Japanese companies going to U.S. companies because it's a different market. The oh. Japanese market is put, put prices to hundreds and hundreds of dollars because they know that the general public might not be coming around buying all these discs. Because even though houses are getting bigger and bigger... Certain houses, especially in the city, very small. Very apartments, rather. Very small. Yeah. You know, it's not about being materialistic. You know, it's this idea that, oh, if you buy, you know, these, these, these things, be it figures or be it DVDs, you're looked at, and I'm talking about the consumer, is looked at as an outcast. Here yeah. in the U.S., I'm not saying you wouldn't be looked at weird for having some of those figures, depending on who's posing, doing what. But in terms of the in terms of the um, of DVDs, 
you got DVDs at Walmart going for 20 bucks. Right. 10 bucks, 15 bucks. It's not just because digital media is becoming cheaper. It's not just for that reason. It's because we're consumers. It's not, you know, oh, you can get this one DVD of four episodes for, you know, $70 or for $60 or $50. No. No one would buy. I'm frankly shocked that anyone ever bought a VHS tape of a show like Friends mm -hmm. when you could only fit three to four episodes on it. But mm -hmm. people did. There are... Tristan, I swear to God, there are... Oh, no, no, I know. You can yeah. see the sets online if you want to... Anyone could if you guys want to laugh. Uh, friends, like 10 VHS tapes per season. Oh, God. Ooh, why? How oh. much money did someone spend on that Friends collection? Yeah. But, Matt, I think there's something very important that I need to point out for this, this set. Okay, okay. Um, this set that's coming out, uh, little known fact, um, uh... There will be one dollar donated. Where will it be donated, Tristan? Uh, to the Get Al a Body Fund. All right. Well, I think that even though that would be a nice donation, I'm pretty sure that you haven't seen the end of the anime, so you don't know Jack. Uh, you kind of no, need to how see. How dare you? I have. Oh, oh, so you saw it like on Crunchyroll back in the day? No, I saw it on Adult Swim back in the day. Good shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, which brings us back to that whole point of I wonder if it'll have the dub. I not really too. don't know. I mean, again, they technically own the rights to it. That it's not because it's a weird contract negotiation thing. That could be a part of it too. Either way, it's just really frustrating too. Like, again, just coming back to like not knowing the market. Again, it's not saying anything bad about the Japanese side. It's just of any negotiation. It's just this idea that it doesn't look good from a U from U.S. fans, and it's not even just you and I talking. It's just U.S. fans in general. It doesn't look good to have Funimation, who I think to a lot of fans look like the good guys. To some people are their, you know, their first anime like that they saw was a Funimation dub. I mean, that's true of you and I. Mm -hmm. And I think that's true of a lot of people out there because Funimation always gets those heavy hitters. It just doesn't look good to take that license away unless they did something wrong. And to then have them re-release the show in this case it's anaplex of america re-release the show for anything over the price that funimation had it at right that's another thing too we just have to be honest here i'm not trying to you know say because i don't like the whole thing where it's like the company's greedy i'm not saying that yeah. i mean but I you're not like going gonna to have... argue it's going to be like but this is on blu-ray so it's better funimation had it on blu-ray i have blu-ray sets oh well then fuck yeah, <laughs> right. Tristan didn't know that. I have well, Blu-ray sets. That, that that would be the only way I would argue. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. be like, but we're releasing it on Blu-ray. They did it too. Well, shit. Well, yeah, because the OVA is the stuff that might be released for the first time without. Um, right. So the because the OVA was on a DVD. I don't know if they're talking about the same OVAs that may have been on the Blu-rays. So maybe there were, because I actually haven't gone through the Blu-rays other than watching the first four episodes, and I was amazed at the quality of the Blu-rays. I was like, damn! Um, you know, it looked beautiful, Tristan. But, um, but no, Funimation had them released on Blu-rays, so there's nothing new here. And like I said to you much earlier, we didn't really harp on this point, but I think we should as we're kind of wrapping this up. Um, it's not like there are people out there who don't have the anime already, that really, really want it, that other than like, yes, you exist, but you're also, you're, you're like me, where like, we, we wouldn't have had it if I didn't go to Satish Ram, and I was, it was another Let's Player podcaster, and said, please dude, we have to get this, before it's out of print. Mm -hmm. I would have been like you, and I wouldn't have had it, but it's not like that's a majority of people, because when you release something, especially when you're releasing it for the second time, without Funimation, you're trying to, you know, uh, brand it as your own, it's like, but unless you're adding some really good goodies, like making it a special edition, yeah. why would someone want to buy it? Right. If they already have it. Yeah. If they don't have it and it's not super expensive, like it's 50 bucks each, then yeah, yeah of course I'd want to buy it if I didn't already have it. Heck, I, I recommend you to buy it. I'd be like, yo, Tristan, you should go buy this. Yeah, but no, if it's, it's going to be... 50 each, I would jump on that. Yeah, shit. but if it's 100 each and there's nothing special about it... I might wait. Yeah, yeah. You might wait to try to get them secondhand, and how does that help Anaplex, you know? Yeah. Like, we're actually, funnily enough, we're actually looking out for Anaplex's best interest here, you know? We're saying that it might have been easier for them to make money by getting royalties from Funimation, mm -hmm. rather than trying to put these out on DVDs, try to make money that way, 
when there might there's a market for FMA as in oh people love FMA right but I don't know if there's a market for people who want physical discs in 2018 who don't already have the anime who are going to sit back and go wait why, why can't I just watch this on Crunchyroll right now maybe if there's a, if there is the dub on there and you can't get the dub anywhere else okay sure but again you know I, I don't know either way I'm not necessarily hyped but I am interested they have piqued my interest you're hyped yes or you I, also or interest peaked I yeah interest peaked okay we'll see what happens and again all your FMA news right here at Keikaku Corner <laughs>